Hello and welcome to a new video. So I just hit level 68 mining, which is the last skill apart from agility, which is only two and a half K left. I have to train on this account because I need 68 mining for Dragon Slayer 2, which I will try to get done in this video if possible, but I still need had a lot of quests. So I just hit level 60 agility and 1575 total and I finished all the skilling needed for a perfect range tank in my opinion because after this skilling which I already did I can do dragon slayer 2 and that's the Avas assembler is the last thing I still need for a perfect range tank. I'm afterwards I'm going to get 99 mage and 98 strength so there's still a lot of training to do but no more skilling. Just completed the dwarf part of RFD, takes about five minutes and now I have the dwarf rock cake unlocked too, but since there uh, is a better way to get low HP now, if you complete Dragon Slayer 2, it's not even needed that I get a second one. So I just finished the goblin diplomacy quest, literally took me like two minutes just by all the items in the GE. I love those three minutes quests. Just finished the goblins of RFD. Should have done this earlier because it gives 1k farming XP and the early farming is actually quite bad. So I just finished the scratch part with the ogres. Um, really easy, takes like 10 minutes. So I just finished the pirate pizza quest. I think this takes around 8 minutes. Really easy. So I just finished the lumbridge guide part of RFD. Also took like 5 minutes. Really easy, pro tip here, use a snipping tool or anything else to screenshot during the last test because that's super helpful, then you don't have to remember the stuff. So I just finished the Legends Guild quest and I put all the experience into strength. So I'm 74 strength now, so now it's clear I'm staying 50 attack and I'm going for 98 strength because before that I still had the possibility to go for 75 strength attack but i don't want 75 attack because i'm not going to be doing any breeding on this account because for breeding in my opinion you you need a melee ko weapon of some sort or it's super bore or it's kind of boring so i'm going for a 50 attack 98 strength just finished the last sub quest of rfd so the sir emic wars part is done now too so there's only the boss fight left, but I need some more quest points for that. And since I need 200 for Dragon Slayer 2 anyway, that doesn't really matter. So I just completed the Edgar's Roost quest. Pro tip here, get yourself two extra gout weeds. And because you need one for Dream Mentor and you need one for Dragon Slayer 2. So getting those two now will save you some time then. So I just finished the Dream Mentor quest was quite easy with this gear for the boss fight. Cool quest. Oh, I even got a lamp. What does the, what do you want? No, uh, I didn't remember that lamp. Okay, some more strength XP. Cool. Yeah, 15K strength XP. Cool. So I just completed the Goister Hurry quest. Quite late, usually people do that quite early, especially on Iron Man, on 168 quest points right now. So only some more quests before I can go to get my Barrow's Gloves. So I just completed Exhilarin's Little Helper. This quest is so weird, man. It's like you're hallucinating and shit. And then I have no idea what it's about because I just followed the guide of Slayer Music 1. But usually you have to do a quest like five times without reading the dialogue. You kind of realize what it's about. But with this one, I have no clue. So I just finished a Tale of Two Cats. That's the second last pre-quest for Dragon Slayer 2. I think I only have to do Client of Corrent after this one and then I have to get some quest points. But I'll get the Solve Army to kill Warcalf better as well. Oh, I also got this Mystery Present, which is some XP lamps and I actually I don't need any XP anymore, so I'm not sure where I should put it, probably in room crafting. Yes. Always put the XP in room crafting because room crafting sucks. So I just finished the client of Corrent. Now I have all the requirements for Desert uh, for Dragon Slayer 2, apart from the 200 quest points. So I'll 
try to get them now. So right here, we are going to do one of my favorite quests together. So you talk to this wizard with all the beats on you. You say, give me a quest, please. Um, just type, I'll try, talk to him again. And you're fucking done. You just put them in there and you're done. Free quest point. Fucking amazing. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thanks for the grand exchange. So I just got 175 quest points. Amazing. So I can go do the last part of RFD now for the B gloves. So I'm just finishing the RFD boss fight right here. And I got the 20k XP lamp and full access to the column monster chest. So that means I can get myself some B gloves now. Nice. So let's go get them. By the way, the gear I used was something like this with a stuff and a shield I banked once because I had a trident on me first. So since I don't want to enter my bank pin now, I'll pause. So right here, I can buy myself some B gloves now. So let's buy two, pa two pairs of them. Nice. B gloves unlocked. So can I put this XP lamp? Uh, I need level 50 at least. Yeah, so I'll just throw it on agility because a higher agility level is always nice. So I started getting my super fast quest points. So I did Romeo and Juliet for five quest points. I want to say something about this quest. It's like super fucked up. Like Juliet dies by mistake and Romeo is like, oh no, so bad. And then it's like Juliet's cousin or something comes in and Romeo is like, who cares about Juliet? Let's fuck this one. Like, what the fuck, bro? At least give, wait a bit. Like, bro, that's not cool. So I just completed the Haunted Mind quest. I need this for my self Emmy so I can kill Warcraft better for a uh, Avis Attractor or how is it called? Yeah, for the best Avis Accumulator. Uh, yeah, I think it's Attractor. So that's that. So I'll go get the Tarn Slayer done as well for the self Amulet E and then do Nightmare Zone with melee for the self Amulet EI in the future. So I just quickly did the Tarn layer of Tarn Resor Lore mini quest, whatever, for the Tarn, Tarn's Diary. So I can, um, yeah, imbue or make my uh, solve amulets to ease. So they have the 20% damage boost against undead creatures. So that's cool. Yeah, since not everyone has gotten a solve amulet, during their runescape career, I'm going to show you how to make them to ease. So you just use them on this thing and it turns them to self amulet E. It's super easy. And those are only for melee. You need to imbue them in nightmare zone so they work for range. So I have to AFK some nightmare zone before I do war calf. For nightmare zone, some little tips and tricks. First off, there's a DPS calculator that has all the Nightmare Zone bosses inside. It's a Google spreadsheet. I showed it in different videos and I even have a guide on how to use it. So if you want to know how I chose those five bosses, which are the best for me according to this spreadsheet, apart from that, but he smacks you back, so I'm not taking him inside. So there's also for the question for 50 attack builds, if you want to use the leaf bladed sword or the granite hammer. At sand crabs, the granite hammer is better, but here at nightmare zone, the leaf bladed sword is better. So I also learned this from the DPS calculator. It's quite significant. The leaf bladed sword is better by about 10%. So I'm using it, of course, because I just look at the DPS calculator, figure it out and then use it instead of asking different people and getting some random assumptions, what most a lot of people sometimes do. I just did Prince Ali Rescue for the quest points. Funny thing here, back in the day, like in 2007, I thought this quest was actually hard because you needed so many items. Now I realized it takes like four and a half minutes yeah, hard quest, four and a half minutes. Another five minute free to play quest 
for two quest points. Pirate's Treasure, super easy, totally worth it for the two quest points. I just did Witch's Potion, which is a one minute quest for one quest point, really nice. So I just finished a Mistalin Mystery quest. This was actually a holiday event once, I think like a year ago. And back then I did it on nine accounts and it took me more than an hour. And now on one account, it's, a, it's around 10 minutes which is really good for one quest point. So I'm at 190 now, I only need 10 left. So I'll do some research and figure out which 10 are the fastest 10. So I just completed the Corsair Curse, Corsair Curse for the last two quest points from the free to play list. So I need eight more quest points from some member quests. I'll decide which one to do later on. So I did the Fremenic Isles because I wanted the Helm of Nate's not to train melee. It's basically the same as the Berserker Helm, but it has some prey points, which is always nice when training melee, even though I'm doing the Absorb method. But it's a quest that actually unlocks something which is useful. So I just finished the Throne of Miscellanea. I did this because it's a quest that still has a use, because I have the Kingdom on six other accounts, so why not get it on here as well to make some AFK money. So I'll do Royal Trouble now. So I just finished the Royal Trouble quest. I'm at 195 quest points right now. So I need five more quest points and I can't think of anything useful. So I'll start to some more uh, quests with a lot of quest points that are quite useless. So I just finished the Making History quest, a really easy quest for three quest points, takes around 10 minutes. So if you need some more quest points, that's always a good go. So only two quest points left for Dragon Slayer 2. So I finished another really quick quest and the one I finished was absor Absorbatory quest and um, got me two more quest points. So I'm at 200 right now and also got the 875 hit points experience. By the way, be careful whenever doing this quest because it gives different uh, types of experience according to uh, whatever the stars are you see in the end. So. For example, on this account, I wouldn't have finished it if it was a tech experience. But since it's a 10 minute quest, I just did it. And if it would have been the 800 attack experience, I would have done another quest for the two quest points. So I will finish the video right here. I made some more progress, but I realized that the video would get far too long if I put all this stuff into this vid as well. So I want him to say, Join my CC, Michael's first, if you want to. It's a really cool CC. Even at weird times now, there are 26 people chilling in here. So you will always find someone to chat with. Additionally to that, please hit the bell. Like I recently watched a video where YouTube explained that if you subscribe to people, they might, might not put their videos into your sub box. And I was like, what the fuck guys? Why don't you put it into the sub box? It's called s subscriber box, where you get the videos of the people you subscribe to. But no, they only put the videos of the people you subscribe to who they think you will watch. So you need to hit the bell to get all the videos into your sub box. So hit the bell guys. So that's everything I wanted to say. There's also a discord you can join if you want to. That's everything. Thank you for watching. Thanks and bye.